afternoon everyone it's Catherine here from Upcycled and Co I thought I'd come on today and do a quick live video and show you um, what I've done actually a couple of years ago I stenciled some jeans so um, I had some old um, three-quarter pants and I wanted to try Upcycled and Co furniture paint with stenciling and um, so what I did is I did it onto some jeans so I thought I'd come on today and do a quick live demo I'm wanting to do lots more of these so that um, I can show you what can be done with the paint and I can answer your questions and um, yeah I, you can just um, learn we can all learn, learn together and if you've got any comments any feedback about the paint um, I'd love to hear it so um, if you don't know about Upcycle & Co um, I started Upcycle & Co four years ago and um, jump in and say hi if you're here live I can see lots of people coming on thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up that's awesome. Um, so I started up Cycle & Co four years ago and uh, because I started furniture painting and realised how easy it was and I just wanted to share that with others. So um, yeah, it was pretty cool. And then in 2017 I launched Up Cycle & Co furniture paint. Um, it's a paint that primes paints and seals. It's not chalk paint, okay? So a lot of people think it's chalk paint, but that's just because it's a furniture paint. It's not chalk paint. You don't need any wax. You don't need any sealer. It has its own sealer. Paints onto pretty much any surface with minimal preparation. Um, most of the time, no preparation whatsoever. Um, so check it out on our website, upcycleandco.com. And today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stencil a pair of... Um, these are jeans that I cut off into shorts um, in the summer and they're just ones that I've been wearing in the garden around the house. So I'm going to put some more of these little um, daisies onto them, which I thought would be fun. I've had these stencils sitting in the cupboard. I've only got a few, um, three or four, but um, it's something I want to do more of and I want to do more clothing because when I tested it with clothing uh, the first time, it was absolutely brilliant. Once the paint's on here, there's no way in hell it's going to come off. So, um, hi Fiona, nice to have you here, stenciling some shorts today. So, um, yeah, so what I've got is I've got my little stencil. Now this came in, this came in one that I got, it was actually a, a, just a small sheet and it was sticky on the back. So I cut it out and put it on a piece of paper so I can actually work with it more easily. And then I've got a couple of others here um, that I'm going to do too. So, um, hi Nolene, hi Kylie, nice to see you. Well, I can't see you, but you know, nice to have you here anyway. Um, so yeah, doing some stenciling on some clothing. So it's loads and loads of fun. And um, the place I go to get my stencils is um, Trade Me. So Trade Me is my number one go-to place for pretty much everything. I'm just gonna grab my gloves. Um, I'm gonna put gloves on today because my nails look terrible. I don't know about yours, but um, haven't had mine done for three weeks and um, yeah they look terrible um, so it's not because of the paint because if the paint get the paint on your hands um, it's you know no big deal it comes off really really easily so what I'm going to do I've got my little roller here my little tray and my little roller and some white paint and I've got different size rollers um, these little ones I just get um, like in a two dollar shop that sort of thing this one I'm pretty sure I got this at Bunnings actually that one's a little bit bigger but I'm just going to use the small one today but if you've got a bigger um, thing you want to stencil well the bigger ones are better so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add to this pattern here that I've already got on these shorts so hopefully you can see that I'll turn it up that way and then you can see that so if you've got any questions I'm just going to move that out of the way a little bit fire them in the comments and I'll answer them for you as we go and um, yeah how's everything going how's lockdown going and how's um, yeah how's it going with everybody at home and um, you know those of you that are essential workers how's it going for you as well it's um, a crazy old time eh? so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add to this I've done that one that way so I'm just going to put this one, so this is just really random, um, on the fly, um, no major preparation really, and um, I'm just going to take 
das der? Just helps it. Um, doesn't move. Tape it down on that side and that should be fine. I'm just going to make sure it's flat. So just let me know um, if you can see that okay. Maybe I'll just camera down a little bit more hopefully you can see that okay let me know you can you can see that okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my paint and just make sure I've got plenty on my roller and super super easy so just going to roll it on super easy super fun super quick and super successful we hope so um who's been oh hi tammy you're a midwife oh wow you will be busy yeah how's it all going gosh yeah you you people in the you know nurses and midwives and doctors and oh my goodness all the essential workers yeah um we are so lucky to have you people so just making sure i've got that covered well and then what we're going to do is peel it off and it's as easy as that so these ones here are a little bit they're a little bit lighter than those ones so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to turn this around i might do the ones up here first And just going to put some more on. Mm. Up here. Oh, it's a little bit lumpy under there, so I'm not going to do it there. Just take my tape off and place my. Oh, yes, vets. Yes, Sandy, definitely. Are you a vet, Sandy? Yes, the vets are pushed as well, absolutely. Are you using your... Yes, I am using our furniture paint. Um, yes, so it works brilliantly um, for stenciling. So I'm just going to place this one under that one. And I'm just going to hold it down this time. Fingers crossed it works. So it's all about experimenting and having fun. These are old shorts, no big deal um, if there's any problem. But um, practice, um, you know, the idea with any painting, practice on, you know, for your furniture techniques, practice on pieces of wood, practice on, um, you know, for this, practice on old pieces of fabric. And there we go. Kind of liking that. Oops, I got a bit of white paint on there. Um, yeah, so just watch that as you go. So um, what I might do is I might do another one down here, but I'm actually going to turn it round. Mm -mm. So it's going to take a minute to dry. So I might just leave that and come back to it in a minute, and then I'm going to just go and do the other one, which is one I haven't done before. So we'll see what happens. So. These my shorts. So I might add some more once that one's dry. What you can do is you can, I haven't got my hair dryer here with me, but you can use um, a hair dryer to dry that really quickly and um, it'll stay on there no problem in the wash because um, I've certainly tested it. So um, so that's all good. So that's quite fun, bit of step sling on those. And then I've got another pair here, which is another old, big, grotty, pair of shorts that I've had for years. These ones were ones that I cut off too. Nancy, you're a caregiver. Yes, it is our furniture paint, Lynn. Yes, so I'm using um, our paint to stencil onto clothing. Caregiver at your local rest room two days off before my eight day straight. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness. Yeah, take my hat off to all your essential workers. That's amazing. Um, yeah, if we can all thank the essential workers, lots of hearts for the essential workers. Um, yeah, just um, incredible. Everybody can just 
join me in appreciating and um, all of our essential workers. So these ones, as I said, these are really, um, so I've got stars I'm going to put on these ones. So I've got this on Trade Me as well. And what I find is that's where there seems to be the most um, supply of stencils is on Trade Me. So it's always my go-to. Um, so I'm just going to place that on there. And I'm just going to randomly do that whole patch all at once. Maybe I'll put it down a little bit. Um, so I'm going to take that on just up each side just to hold it in place and that just helps and as I say I haven't used this stencil before so we'll just um, fingers crossed it all goes according to plan as I said it's about experimenting and having fun don't worry about um, practice on old things first just like I'm doing on these I've got some other t-shirts I want to do as well so um, I gotta think about what I want to put on those Okay, so we've got that nice and flat. We've got it taped on. Let's see if we can do this. Hi, Hussiel. Nice to have you here. So how's the weather about the place? Um, starting to cloud over here. I don't know if any of you others have got, you've got rain yet. So I've got plenty of paint on my roller. And just the same as before... So I'm just carefully rolling on there, trying to get the paint even. A bit nerve-wracking doing this. It's all good though. So... to know is um they're your second family Nancy oh that's very cool you're gonna do what has got an essential right yeah 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 the paint is really versatile and you can actually um you can dye fabric with it too so um well I could show you how to do that couldn't I in the coming days or weeks um so yeah you can do lots with the paint I'm just trying to make sure I've got this covering kind of evenly. So if you go in different directions, that sort of helps get into the weave of the fabric. And we'll have to get good coverage. Okay. Big reveal time can take these gloves off because um, I've got a bit of wet paint on them so okay <gasps> da, da, da. let's see what um. yay it worked so as I said that's the first time I've I've um, used that stencil so um, yeah I quite like that it looks kind of cool so I could, I could do it on the other side as well, but I kind of think I might just do, I might just do a small amount on the other side, just smudge some paint on the other side, so that's looking kind of good. Hi Sandra, nice to have you here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on this side, but I'm actually just going to um, I'm just going to move it on an angle, and I'm actually just going to do some of it. So I'm not going to do all of it. Okay, 
Okay. So let's um, have another go. So who's done stenciling before? Let me know in the comments. So if you've got any questions, fire away. Any questions about paint, anything whatsoever, about painting furniture while you've got me here. So, um, oh, I want to let you know too that um, while I'm here, I'm doing live online furniture painting workshops, okay? So um, if you want to learn how to paint and you haven't been able to make it to one of my workshops or you live somewhere that I don't do them, um, I'm now doing them online. So um, no matter where you are, you can now attend a workshop. So um, I'm doing, I've got two on next week and then a couple of weeks after that. So um, if you want to learn all the techniques I teach in my face-to-face -face workshops, um, you can book a class on my website. So um, jump over and do that. And, right, take those gloves off again so I don't get paint on the rest of them. And I've just done a few this time, just a few little ones. Ta -da! So, you can do as much or as little as you want. And I have got, put those over there. I've got another stencil here too, which is kind of cool, which is um, like a writing one, which I've seen done on furniture before. So, um, oh, and in the pictures there too, they've actually got it on a cushion and on a lamp and on a wall. So I kind of like that one. I bought that one on Trade Me too, ages ago. Um, Little Birdie, that's called. I don't know where they come from. They're probably imported, I think. Littlebirdiecrafts.com. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I've got all of those on Trade Me. So, um, dyeing fabric would be good to know so I can match fabric to furniture I should be painting. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's super, super easy. So, um, I will make a note of that and do, um, do a live with um, dyeing fabric. So, anybody got any questions before, um, before I wrap up? about anything to do with furniture painting, more than happy to answer your questions or pop them pop them in the comments um, and I can answer them later on. But um, yeah, as I said, it's starting to cloud over here a bit now and I've been out for a walk this morning but I might head out for another one because it might be a bit wet for the next few days. So um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing okay wherever you are and um, that just shows you a little bit of um, stenciling fabric so it's super easy and once that's dry um, I have tested it before in, in, in the washing machine in the dryer and of course once it's stuck it's stuck so um, it certainly won't uh, be coming off in a hurry okay although it'll come off your hands super easy um, with warm soapy water um, once you've um, painted things so okay so I hope you enjoyed that and um, I will see you again in another video um, very soon but if you want to um, join a workshop, jump on over to my website and book it. Um, Lily, I want to paint leather with interior paint with glycerin. Works very well. I paint leather with interior paint with glycerin. Works really well. Oh, okay, great. Cool. That's awesome. So some amazing creatives out there and they're doing all sorts of wonderful things. So keep it up. And the other thing, if you're not in my furniture painting group, um, jump on over and join that Upcycle and Co Furniture Painting Community there's over 6,000 people here so join that lots of creative, some awesome inspiring projects there Susan, sorry missed the beginning washing instructions, um, in the washing machine just as normal Okay, so once that's dry just wash them as normal Yeah. ok, thanks guys and um, I'll see you again um, very soon